Hello, loyal fans, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the last episode, we found about a Star Forge by the star map over here. I don't see any planets whatsoever. I don't get it. Anyway, this episode, in fact, uh, we're going to go ahead and talk to the council. And we're going to talk and talk and talk. I warn you, this episode and possibly next episode, there's going to be a lot of talking. So, if you don't like the talking bits, I'll try to make them interesting, but yeah, I've been dreading this part since ever the start of the LP. I don't think there's any other part except for one or two parts I'm dreading now. <laughs> but trust me, that, yeah, whatever. Let's talk to Karf. Yes, what's on your mind? You've been very quiet lately. You know, every time I try to talk to you, you don't say anything. It's starting to get really annoying. Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Left out of the loop? I don't understand. Left out of the loop? You know, not being told anything strung along? It's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. That is none of your concern, Carl. And you would do well to leave the matter be. Ooh. I respect you, Bastila, but you've been as closed-mouthed as the rest of the Council. If you won't talk to me, then maybe somebody else will. Why should anything the Jedi do seem strange to you? You of all people. I may not know much about the Jedi, but I do know they aren't famous for taking on old Padawans and sending them on dangerous assignments. Hmm. True. Well, I do trust Carf. Th they said that we have a bond between Bastila and myself. A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? Huh. I have trouble believing that. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. Are you saying I'm not needed? No, I don't... I didn't mean that you weren't wanted or that I want to go. It's just... Damn it. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. I'm not going to betray you. I am not, Saul. Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Ooh! Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's, let's just get on with what we were doing. Interesting. This is really where people don't like Karth. But this is where I really start liking Karth. Very nice. You That's cannot strong in the force, finally. Okay, let's keep on moving on. Hmm. I don't know, does Basil has anything to say? How can I help? Looks like something's bothering you. No, not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Hmm, I think you're more interested more than just a bond between us. <laughs> Please. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are... Well, they're beneath me, quite frankly. I admit, I find you intriguing. I, I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing, but my interest in you is purely academic. Surely you can understand why. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Our relationship? Is this some sort of clumsy come-on? 
I was referring to the bond we share. The one the Jedi Council spoke of. If I was actually interested in you, rest assured I could come up with a much better approach than this. True. Okay. Well, okay, I guess I trust nerve there, huh? Touched a nerve? No. Touched Getting nerve. on my nerves? <laughs> most definitely. I suppose this is what you men consider being witty. Now, are you going to answer my questions, or would you rather just keep annoying me? Okay, I'll answer the questions. Don't worry. These are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? Nothing's out. Nothing great. I'm a soldier. Good. On which planet were you born? I have no idea what that... Dorella? I'm, it's a remote system. Why? Excellent. Your current age is? Isn't this in my service records? I mean, come on. This is mundane, simple stuff. Yes. Well, the truth is I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. And what did you find out? You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. Well, that was not what I was expecting. Yes, it was. But my character is not expecting that. Yes, what's on your mind? And Karf is, once again, shutting up. <sighs> so, off to the council we go. Mm, off to the council, the council, the council. Off to the council. Because we need counseling. Actually, I wonder... Yeah, that works too. Yeah. Oh, so hmm. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's not waste time here. How can I help? Um, something you want to ask me about. I felt the disturbance. I do. How did you know? Well... Oh, your face is crunched up like a Kinrath pup. A, a Kinrath pup? It most certainly is not. <laughs> I am a Jedi, remember? I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel... I mean, whatever I think about you. You're so cute when you're embarrassed. I... that is you... Why must you be so impossibly infuriating? You know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's oh, mind. Man. We can feel oh. some of what the other feels. And what I feel within you troubles my me. A Padawan is. must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. Hmm. What do you think I should do, if you're that concerned? I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. Why are you getting so upset? I'm not understanding all this. I'm sorry if I come across <coughs> as harsh, but I am concerned. For you, for our mission, and for myself as well. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Well, I won't do anything to hurt you. I believe you truly mean what you say. 
for now. Sometimes it is not so easy to keep such promises. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance <coughs> or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. Evil Manta Ray. Well, I appreciate any help you could offer. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. Now, back to singing about the council. Off to the council, the council, the counselor, and now I'm super lost. Okay, now I'm lost. Now I'm not lost. Not completely. Okay, here we go. So, the crazy vendor. I don't know if he's crazy, or he's trying to get money, or he truly believes what he's... Well, I think he truly believes what he's doing, but I don't know if he's also doing it for the money, or because he actually believes that selling weapons will somehow help the Republic. My character is still very interested about the Republic. Not so much about the Jedi. He, he sort of sees them as, well, a bunch of cult ritualist but he but he is one of them so he's understanding more but he's not actually a Jedi right now he's just someone who can use the force perhaps they'll change perhaps not or perhaps it'll get worse that I'm not going to tell what's going to happen young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? Hmm. We found an incomplete star map and mention of something called a star forge. This news of a star forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Please, no cutscene. Please, no cutscene. Good. You have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi... No victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began the their tragic right. fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the Dark Side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. Sounds like a suicide mission to me. Garf was mentioning something about this, that this would probably happen. Ever brash, ever disrespectful, this is what we have pinned our hopes on. Hey, thanks! We have discussed this. There is no other choice. Again, thanks! The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war. By defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Am I to undertake this task alone? That doesn't seem fair. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you. Yay! For there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany No! Her. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Hmm. 
Great Bastila and the Catwoman. Anyone else you want to stick me with? Of course, those who aided you on Terrace will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. When shall I leave? You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What? The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. Pray to who? Be with you. Seriously, pray to who? You believe in the Force, and the Force is a natural energy that surrounds and binds everything that the midichlorians use so that people can actually use the Force. Here, who are you praying to? Okay, after that long awkward silence. Yeah, you're all kind of weird, aren't you? So let's get going. So, oh yeah. Let's talk about Jahani. Uh, usually I like to have the character with me, but yeah, the cat lady that we saved. I don't like Jahani whatsoever. Everything about her is off, wrong, boring. Combination of the three, mostly. Uh, she, fighting-wise, she's okay, but you'll find better people than her to have with, like yourself. Yeah. And story-wise, uh, she contributes nothing to the current story, and she's always on about the past. Always on about the past. Yes, I repeated that word because that's what it's all about. Me, 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 my past. Oh, sorry, I was talking about my past. Me, 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 my past. Look how mad it made me, my past. And then they decided to throw in a couple other wrenches, making her a more interesting character. If you played the game, you know what that wrench is. If you haven't played the game, I'll see if I bring up that wrench or not. Because, yeah, that wrench is not needed whatsoever. So now that I'm done ranting about Jahani, um, is there anything good? I suppose her will to actually do something good is actually quite admirable, but really doesn't go so far. Okay, he's going to talk to you about monsters who can defy the force, which actually do not. Ah, shoot! This was not part of my plan for the talking. My discussion with the council is none of your business. It's a secretive. Evil's out there, not the Sith. What are you talking about? There's evil monsters, abomination, Trezic. How could a monster be a threat to a Jedi? They are resistant to the Force. And so now basically, sounds like they went and they hunted them, and now they are coming back, so they want you to hunt them again. Great hunt. See, that's what it's talking about. Cost what cost. Whatever. I'll be going now. <sighs> Now, the person I did want to talk was the other Twi'lek. This one, with the three names. Go ahead. Okay, 
Ida patisa batua kachatu to ka chikun ida hodonga yikin kuno bamulerati Okay Sorry I have no idea what you talked about Takum justach I'll go now Takum Okay, so there's basically f monsters who can deny the forest and a little girl lost. We haven't gone over here yet. So this is a vendor. Yeah, he's going to be complaining about Circuit. We'll go into more about Circuit later. So buy up the medical pet kit. Very good idea. Um... Let's see, what does... He's got some nice stuff, actually. Like this. Uh, awareness. Yeah, I'm going to buy one of those, actually. No, I don't need that. Oh, th that's way too expensive, but it's pretty nice. Oh, that's really nice. I think I bought that once, and it really is nice. Especially if you're going to go with the person who uses... He's going to sell you droid stuff, okay? When you go a person who uses technology and doesn't fight as much. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're going to go on to the ship, actually. We haven't done that in a little bit. Actually, I don't think we've ever explored the ship, have we? Huh. So, yeah. Here's Kandras. Uh We're not going to talk to him in this episode. Probably the next episode. I'm just giving you a short little rundown, and here's Jahani. We'll talk to her next episode. What I want to do, however, is bring up a couple um, plot devices. And so we're going to take out Bastila and Mission. So this is going to be interesting on many different levels. Here comes the first level. Mission, is that you? It's me, Lena, remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena? What are you doing here? Where's Griff? <clears throat> I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat! Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off! <clears throat> Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? Mission gets a little worked up when it comes to her brother. Yeah, I know how she feels. Griff can be pretty frustrating. I guess that's why Mission didn't want to come with us when we left Terrace. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then, but he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying! Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind! Why should we believe you, Lena? Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. Chris always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too. As soon as I ran out of money, he started blaming me for all of his problems. Like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. I like to hear Griff's side before I judge him. That's my character. He likes being the mediator and not instantly taking up, instantly taking up sides after I knock over my microphone. Again? Wow, that just took away all the importance. If you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table dancing, brother stealing, home wrecker. I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. Now I think about it, I think I have to talk to Bastila a little bit more before I get her important scene. But, this is very interesting. Mission's brother is not only alive, but a possibility to get to, because Tatooine was one of our waypoints. Interesting. Well, let's talk to Mission. Hey there, what 
can I do for you? Well, do you want to talk about your brother? Don't tell me you believe Lena's lies. Griff might be working as a miner on Tatooine, but the rest of her story is Bantha Poodoo. Poodoo! Trust someone like her. At least Griff's free of her clutches. I'd like to go speak to the Zerka Corp rep on Tatooine if we have time. Maybe I can arrange to see my brother again. We'll find your brother. I just hope he's not in any kind of trouble when we do. Right, because in this universe, people don't get in trouble usually. Nothing out of the ordinary. How can I help? You want to speak to me? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Is it true you killed Darth Revan? You know, you don't like to bring it up. It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. That's not what I heard! Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. So, Malak did your job for you? As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. Okay, I think I'd bore you enough with all that talking. So next time, Star Wars Night the Old Republic, we have some more talking. We might go on to our next planet. We might not. That's how much talking we have left. <laughs>